Hey, Matt here with Primary and Secondary. Going to talk about a couple new Safari Land holsters I just got and their interface with my duty gun. So as you can see that there's a gap above me on, on my wall, uh, what that gap is, is my duty gun. It's a Glock 47 with a Hollow Sun um, 509T. Um, specifically, I went with the Surefire X300T because I found... Sometimes with some of these Safari Land holsters, they don't work with my mod light. And if I had my way, I would be running my mod light pistol light. There are a bunch of reasons for that. Um, one of them is um, across the board uh, battery choice, because I'm already carrying things that uh, use 18350s. I like to just kind of streamline my battery choices and what I have available. So now if I'm carrying one of these, I need to make sure I have more one, two, three alphas available to me, which kind of suck. I'd rather cut down on that. So Safari Land holster, this is a level three. This is what I've trained with. This is what I'm used to. I personally don't have issues with running level three. Um, there could be the potential of some fitting fitment issues. Putting a gun in a holster when it's in your hand like this may be a little different than having it on your belt. Right off the bat though, I need to make sure that this is gonna fit and then I'm not gonna have any snags. From here, what I can do is I can adjust some slight things just to make sure it fits. And then when I have it on my belt, then do some fine tuning. I'm not gonna carry this though until I've done some sufficient draws to make sure, okay, this, this runs. Also, before I throw it on my belt, I am gonna remove the UBL and replace it with QLS, UBL Universal Belt Loop. Universal belt loop. I'm also gonna remove this thing, which is called the thumbnail remover. Um, when you're drawing really fast, the potential of snagging your thumb and just ripping that off is always present, so just remove it. So Glock 47, treat all weapons as if they're loaded. This is, we're gonna still treat it like it's loaded. But what I wanna do is make sure that this fits in the holster and I'm running into something. There's something snagging. That's not a good sign. Okay, so right off the bat then, I'm gonna undo this little screw just a hair. See if that changes anything. Yeah, this definitely is gonna need some draws. So I have a bigger concern with the gun coming out than going in. Uh, if, it, if it hits a snag going in, I'm, I'm less concerned. That's not bad. It is a little stiff. So going to level three. Yeah, that's not bad. I, I would, I'm going to be comfortable in carrying this. Before I do so, I am going to be thrown in on my belt tonight. And then I'm going to do some draws to make sure it functions. Now, I have another. I haven't opened, haven't used it yet. Um, this would be like an off-duty. Let's say I have to go to court. I don't want to mess with removing weapon lights and stuff like that. And I just want to use my regular duty gun. So this is not a level three. This is just a level, I guess, two, maybe one. I don't know. But yeah, no um, SLS. I'm going to, I'm probably going to stick with this uh, belt loop. It also has, this is what, uh, what is called the Cheeto guard. What basically it does is it stops Cheetos from getting into your optic. So gun again, see how it fits. That's a bit smoother than the last one. Okay. Again, though, and this is, I'm not going to carry this on duty. I'll probably carry this for something plain clothes, carry it for court. Um, before I officially carry it, though, I am going to be doing some draw strokes. Um, and I do that anytime I do put on a gun. I make sure that everything is aligned the way it's supposed to. Um, currently, the way I have my belt set up is I do have my... Um, holster a little closer to like two o'clock versus three. Uh, what I found is draw is much faster. And so I'm going to need to make sure that that setup and this don't create any, any binding. So that's all. Um, unlike my staccato Safari land holster, my staccato holster did need to have some, some fine tuning. It didn't fit properly it was a pain to be able to remove it and it wasn't with the retention it was with the gun the gun actual fit in the holster so that's all uh, make sure you're testing your gear before when you get brand new stuff like this function check fit test before you wear it for real 
make sure you're getting draw strokes out, out of the way. Make sure that you're, you're running this uh, as optimally as possible because it is possible you have everything all set up and you go to draw and, oh, there's a snag or, oh, I, I'm, 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 I'm twisting something, creating torque that doesn't need to be there. And it's all just in how you have things set up. So that's all. I'll talk to you later. So sometimes when you're making videos like this, you determine, oh, there's something I forgot. So do you redo the video entirely or do you just tack it on the end? I'm tacking this on the end. So I was talking about I wanted to use my mod light for duty. And sometimes there are snags using the uh, Surefire light. I did run into a little snag. Once that was cleared, I ultimately tried my mod light. OK, again, treat weapons as if they're loaded, empty gun. Same exact holster. I haven't done any adjustments. I have just done some, some draws while it's off the belt. And now mod light, if I can find the right channel. It's going in and going out is a non-issue. So I do feel a little bit more resistance with the mod light pistol light. I personally prefer the mod light pistol light. So I'm going to keep on doing draws and work this way or work this in. Um, and obviously, again, just doing the draws like this isn't the same as doing the draws from my belt because going, coming from my belt is going to be providing different angles and different torques. And ultimately, I need to be proficient with the draw from the belt. This doesn't count for anything other than just making sure things are, are fitting from a simple angle. So now that's it. I don't think there's anything else. So I'll talk to you later.